There you are. Welcome back, Tak. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sala-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine.
We have to avenge Sala Sensei. Right, Tak? We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akatsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why, Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw Kuwana? Kuwana? How the hell are those, those two connected? connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana? Thugs, Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Ichicho? Right. right. There's, There's still, still a lot we don't know. know. We, we need to, to find, find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. name. Apparently, Apparently it's Kitakata. Kita RK didn't, didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth, Truth is, we don't, we don't know, know anything about Kuwana. All, All we, we know, know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsho. I haven't I have been, been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's, Where's the, the office for his handyman business? business? He, ran he ran his whole operation from a cell phone. phone. Not, Not even his, his business card lists and address. address. Oh yeah, oh, yeah Kaito-san. Kaito Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks, Looks like Kuana like lives in some kind of prefab, prefab shack off West Central, West Central Street. Street. Sounds, Sounds like, like pretty, pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, well if we know that, that much, we might as well go take a look. look. <laughs> I, was I was hoping we'd say that. Sukumo, we'll, we'll talk, talk more later. later. <laughs> you, you never, never slow, slow down, down Yagamishi. Yagamishi. Let's roll, roll talk. talk. Come <laughs> on. 
Let's hit it. Is this Kiwana's place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been R.K. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That means there are already a few steps ahead of us. Our case got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Juan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Eiji Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So, so you, you want to find clues that, that point to his true identity? identity. Is, that Is that what you're saying? saying? <laughs> Took, Took the, the words right out of my mouth, mouth Kaito-san. His ties to the underground. But I get the feeling this kind of work was his bread and butter. Collecting junk, walking pets, fixing pipes, taking any odd job that comes his way. Not so different from us. A handyman, a detective, it's two sides of the same coin. There's a mouse here, too. There was a laptop here. Arcade must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. And Arcade's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. <laughs> An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? With all, all the, the gross, gross garbage, garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Think, Think so? so? <laughs> Suspicious. I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could it just be freshly empty? Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. You think, you think a dusty, dusty ashtray, ashtray is going to get us Kuwana's identity? Maybe. 
Or maybe it's nothing. Cigarettes. Are these guanas? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Pretty, Pretty sure, sure he's been vaping. vaping. Oh, that's oh, right. He smokes e-cigarettes. An ashtray that's hardly been used. Regular, Regular cigarettes that aren't being smoked. That bug you or something? Plenty of folks smoke normal cigarettes and vape, too. True. But a detective can't find answers without going over every last detail first. Hmm. Disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? It got, it got dark. dark. Huh? What's, What's the matter, matter Todd? Looks, Looks like, like a meet and greet. Oh, oh, yeah? yeah? <sighs> Think they're, they're okay? okay? Well, well, they're the only ones looking for Kiwana other than us, right? I don't I see so or Akatsu. <laughs> Except the, the fucking BT. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point talking to a dead man. Uh huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it. And we're, we're not, not holding, holding back, back either. either.
Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them. I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Figured as much. Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs, Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. pay. Yet, Yet they, they came, came to Eugene Show outside, outside their, their turf to commit murder. That's true. Sounds, Sounds like, like someone's funding them. Must, must be some generous perks. perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Otherwise Soma, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos, chaos over here. Then, who's, who's the, the one, one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. Arcade's just following orders. Sawa Sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kiwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. What's going on out here? Are you, Are you friends, friends of Kuwana sons Uh, yeah, yeah we are. are. And those gentlemen, gentlemen on the ground? ground? Those, those guys. guys. Oh, oh, yeah, they're, they're just, just wasted. wasted. Little, Little nap, nap and they'll, they'll head right, right on home. home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's just, just fine. fine. Excuse, Excuse me, me, but you know, know Kuwana, don't, don't you? you? Sure. I mean, yeah, he's, he's lived next door for the last ten years. He's a handy man. Any time, time we were short-handed, short -handed, he'd, he'd come, come by and help us out. out. We'd pay him with our daily special. Oh, I, haven't I haven't heard from Kwan since, since last night. night. But do, do you happen, happen to know any places, places he visits often? Let's see. He has, he has an uncle, uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Yokohama. Called, Called him a distant relative or something. something. He's, He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kawana do before he became a handyman? <laughs> Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kawana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell him he's having the Yakuza. And we, we better, better get, get over, over there, there too. too. Can't, Can't afford, afford to fall, fall behind our cave. Let's, Let's hurry. hurry. Thanks, Thanks for, for everything. everything. And sorry, sorry for bothering me. Oh, oh, don't, don't mention it. it. What is it?
Siren. This is it, Tuck. This is the bark who on his relative runs. Hello? Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with Arke about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. What is it? Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Hi. You've reached Siren? <laughs> Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. <laughs> Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. You son of a Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? <sighs> I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy.
Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this'll have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! You asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh, and don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go.
Kawana is pursued by R.K., the crime ring running Kamarucho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman, but the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kawana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again.